Welcome back guys to another Steam Deck video and Valve has pushed out a new update, another update to Proton Experimental, hopefully fixing the EA app failing to update on the Steam Deck of Linux for good. Fingers crossed. Now, if you don't know the backstory to this, is basically EA released a new game launcher to replace their existing one on PC called Origin. Now, Origin, I was never a big fan of it. I'm not a big fan in general of publishers, game publishers, creating their own game launcher on PC to boot into their games from. I think it's something to do with like the revenue cut from Valve. Like they're, they don't want to give Valve like 10% or 20% of their their game sale um, to, to sell it on, on Steam. So they go out their way to make a whole new game launcher to, to release their games on. And the community has been pretty clear. We don't want 10 different game launchers for new games. We've got the Rockstar launcher, the Epic Games launcher, freaking Origin, the Ubisoft launcher, it's, and Steam, obviously. It's, it's, it's getting out of control. It's grown out of control. And I don't want to have to jungle 10 different launchers. I think everybody just wants their games on Valve. And a lot of game publishers are now coming around to putting their games on Valve by default. But they've still got their game launcher like bundled into the game files. So when you're launching a game on the Steam Deck, chances are it has to go through the freaking EA launcher or the EA app um, to launch launch the game which is silly um, and this is where the issue comes from EA basically released this new EA game launcher app and Proton the experimental layer between Windows apps and Linux the stuff that they use to run these Windows games on the Steam Deck um, just couldn't handle the new game launcher something went out and broke it and it's been a game of cat and mouse ever since trying to fix it then EA breaks it again, Valve has to try and fix it again, <laughs> EA breaks it again, it's been back and forth, back and forth. Now hopefully this fixes it for good, because if you watch my last video, EA and Valve came out together to say, hey guys, we know this is an issue, we know we're not, we don't officially support the Steam Deck and Linux, but we know it's a big pain point for a lot of our customers who are playing our games on the Steam Deck, and we are going to try and fix it. Now, EA says that, but what EA says and what they do are two different things. You know what EA are like, right? They're, they're rated the worst video game company for a reason. Um, but anyways, yeah, Valve seems to put out an update to fix it again on the Steam Deck. Um, they put out an update early in November, hopefully fixing it back when people were having issues originally, but obviously EA updated it again and it broke again on Steam Deck. So new in the Proton Experimental update, we've um, they've got a new playable game, Exceed Gun Boot Children, um, Gun Bullet Children, sorry, and they've obviously fixed the EA desktop failing to update, rendering games unplayable on the Steam Deck. It may require a few game restarts, but it should hopefully fix your issues. So restart your game a couple of times. They've also fixed Forza Horizon having a wrong default mappings with Logitech G920 wheel. Is anybody, are you, is any any of you guys actually connecting up your like racing sim wheels to the Steam Deck? Let me know in the comments if you are, because that's pretty awesome. Um, they fixed an exper they fixed they fixed experimental regression in Star Wars the Old Republic launcher, which was failing to open. Um, and like Gaming on Linux says here, um, hopefully this will fix it properly this time. What a damn nuisance extra launchers are, and I could not agree any more than that. Game on Linux put it perfectly. Um, so there we go, guys. Let me know. Are you still having issues with your EA games? If you are, go download the latest Proton Experimental build. Check your downloads tab. Make sure it's maybe not at the bottom needing to be downloaded. If it is, download it. And then switch to Proton Experimental when you're trying to launch one of your games, like, say, Mass Effect. All right. Um, and hopefully, fingers crossed, it should work. <laughs> if it doesn't, then maybe go try Proton GE, the community build of Proton, which you can go download in on the desktop app in the app store in the linux steam os desktop mode app store which you can find out how to do by going to watch one of my old proton ge videos it should be a video with the thumbnails in proton ge um with a little how-to guide underneath it in the thumbnail so anyways guys thank you for watching i'm blaze 2k if you want to see more steam deck content on your youtube homepage every single day then please subscribe and click that little bell icon um for more steam deck content and if this video was helpful and if you just love the steam deck want to support the steam deck community in any way please consider dropping a like down below anyways guys i'll see you in the next one it's blaze 2k sign it off bye see you in the next one happy friday by the way enjoy your weekend